Holy Father, all praise, glory, and honor be unto you. You are our great God that made the heavens and the earth. Yes, my Lord, Lord we come before you with honor and worship for which you are worthy. And my God, we thank you for the love you have for us. Thank you, Lord God. And that God. you have sent your son, Jesus, into the world yes. to save us and to deliver us. Yes. My God, you're so good. You're so merciful. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, thank for your you, great Jesus. sacrifice that you made for us. My Lord, we know that we are no good. Lord, all our righteousness is as filthy rags. Oh, but through Jesus Christ our Lord, we have become blessed through, by God through our Savior Jesus. Thank oh, you, Lord what God. great man of love the Father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. That's right. Thank God. you, Lord, my God, for Thank all you. you've done for us. Truly, you have been good. My Lord and my God, and I pray for you people everywhere. Lord, may Hallelujah. you open their understanding Help them, to Lord your Jesus. son, Jesus Christ. Help them, Lord My Jesus. Lord, may you make them realize how important he is, how valuable he is. Lord, and without him, we cannot be saved. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. It is Jesus. It's Jesus. He is our Savior. Yes, Lord he God. is our Deliverer. He's all we need. By him, we have life. Through him, we're the sons of the mighty God. Lord, may we put our trust, our confidence only in yes, Jesus. Sir. Help us this morning, my Lord. Help your people everywhere. Open their eyes. Open their understanding. Yes, Touch sir. their hearts. Lord Jesus, deliver them from fear and from men that would destroy them. My Lord, we pray in the day. Thank in you, the Lord name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Most High God. He has power. Yes, he does. All power in heaven and earth. It is in his hands. And we're trusting in you, my Lord, to be with us and to deliver us. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus this morning. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Saints of God, we thank God for the beautiful prayer rendered by our beloved brother. We thank God for Jesus, the Christ, thank you, Lord. the Son of the Most High God. We thank God so much for you that press your way out. We thank God for you that are watching and listening now. Around the world, we certainly thank God for God giving you a mind to tune in. Yes, We're here to do as we often do, and that's go into God's divine word. Yes, and let me tell you something. The word of God is right all by itself. Yes, it is. Let me remind the saints up north in Fredericksburg, Virginia, and surrounding areas. Lord willing, we'll be there with you in Fredericksburg, Virginia, 2801 Plank Road. We'll be there at the Hospitality House. Again, 2801 Plank Road, Fredericksburg, Virginia. The Hospitality House will be there March 26th, March 27th of 2016. You can go to the website for further details, but on that Saturday, March 26th, service will begin at 7 o'clock p.m. And at the close of service, we will open the floor and be able to take your questions. But we will not allow the service to be interrupted by any of the fighters from up north. Now, come on and hear God's divine word, and perhaps the, the God that I serve will prick your heart. And by the end of service, all that fight will be taken out of it. Yes, so we do look forward to seeing you saints up in that area. On that Sunday, March 27th, Lord willing, service will begin at 11 o'clock a.m. We certainly thank God for all things. Amen. Today, we have an email here we want to try to answer, try to be a help to the people of God. Email comes from a brother William Price, and he writes, Greetings, Elder Murray, in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm writing this short email to ask a simple question. It is one that will clear up some confusion on my part about your stance on, theolo on, on theology proper. Sir, is Jesus Christ the Son of God? Is he God? Is he lesser than God? Or is he equal to God? I believe wholly that Jesus is the Son of God now, seated at the right hand of the Father, as the scriptures teach. But I am curious about your stance on his deity. Now, we have been asked similar questions.
for some time. And Brother Price, not sure what state you're emailing from, but if you're up north, I hope to be able to meet you when we arrive there in Fredericksburg. But you asked a question. You asked several questions here, and by the help of God, by the help of the Holy Ghost, I want to answer all of them. Your first question is, is Jesus, the Son of God, is he God? Brother Price, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is God. But he's not the father. Amen. Do you hear me talk? Amen. I said Jesus Christ, the son of God, he is God. He's my Lord. That's right. And he's my God. Amen. But he's still the son of the father. Amen. Now stay with me, Brother Price. Because... The problem with the apostolic teaching is when they say Jesus Christ is God, they don't know what they're saying. Amen. When they say Jesus Christ is God, they're saying Jesus, the son of God, is the father. That's right. So therefore, in reality, there is no son. Right. That ain't what we teach according to that Bible. Amen. When I say Jesus Christ is God, According to the scripture, he's my Lord and he's my God. But he's still the son of the father. But he is my Lord and he's my God. But he's still the father's son. Let me teach you now. Hebrew 1 and 1. I want you to stay with me. I want to crawl if we can. But I'm feeling good already. I want to crawl though. Because I want to, by the help of God, detail this, that the people of God can understand, my God, where salvation is at. That's right. You can't properly serve God unless you know who he is. Amen. Hebrew 1 and 1, what did he say, brother? God who at sundry times. God who in sundry times. And in divers manners. And in divers manners. Spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. He spoke in times past to the fathers by the prophets. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. He spoke to us by who? By his son. So God, talking about the father, spoke to us in these last days by his son. That's right. Do you understand? When the son of God was here talking, that was the father speaking to us through his son. Amen. What you say, brother? Whom he has appointed heir of all things. That father have appointed his son heir of all things. That's right. What you say, brother? By whom also. What? He made the world. The father made the world by his son. Amen. By his son. His son is his word. Amen. What you say, brother? Who being the brightness of his glory. Hallelujah. The son of God is the brightness of his glory. And the express image of his person. And the express image of his person. And upholding all things by the word of his power. What did he say, brother? When he had by himself. When the son of God by himself. Purged our sins. He purged our sins. Sat down. Where did he say that? On the right hand of the majesty on high. I believe what I can read. Amen. Now just stay with me. Because I'm going to show you how Jesus is God. I want to show you where the father going to call his son God. And if the father call his son God, we better call him God. That's right. What you say, brother? Being made so much better than the angels. The son of God was made so much better than the angels. As he had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than the that. The son of God by inheritance, he obtained a more excellent name than the angels. My God, what did he say, brother? For unto which of the angels said he at any time? What? Thou art my son. Thou art my son? This day have I begotten thee. Let me answer the question. He didn't say that to none of the angels. Amen. He didn't talk to none of the angels like that. Only to his son. That's right. My God, that's why the son was called the only begotten son of God. That's right. Hallelujah to God. What did he say, brother? And again, I will be to him a father. I, I want you to listen to the father talk concerning his son. That's right. He said, I will be to him a father. Amen. What else? And he shall be to me a son. What fool will come behind that? That's right. And say he ain't no son. That's right. The father declared, I'm going to be to him a father. Amen. And he going to be to me a son. That's right. Now he's talking about the son of God, Brother Price. That's right. What did he say, brother? 
And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he says. When he brought in the first begotten into the world, he said. And let all the angels of God worship him. The father said, I want all my angels to worship my son. That's right. What you say, brother? And of the angels, he said. What he say? Who maketh his angels spirit. He made his angels spirit. And his ministers a flame of fire. Continue, brother. But unto the son, he said. I want you to get this good. Amen. Unto the son, he said. Who is the he? The father. That's right. Unto the son, he said. What? Thy throne, O God. Thy throne who? O God. The father calling his son God. That's right. He said, thy throne, O God, That's right. is what? Is forever and ever. No, it ended at the cross. And forever and ever. Thy throne, O God. My God, man. What did he say, brother? A scepter of righteousness. A scepter of righteousness. So, brother Price, I want you to get this, my God. The father just called his son God. That's right. If the father call him God, I got to call him God. That's right. Amen. But when I say it, I say it with understanding. Amen. He's my Lord and my God. And just stay with me. I'm going to show you down through the scripture, my God, that he was called God, but yet he's got a father. Amen. What you say, brother? Thy throne, O God. Thy is, throne, O God. Is, is what? forever and ever. It's forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness. It's a scepter of righteousness. Is the scepter of thy kingdom. What you say, brother? Thou hast loved righteousness. Talk about your son, That's father. Right. The father boasted in his son. Amen. He said, thou have loved righteousness. And hated iniquity. Son of God, you hated iniquity. Therefore, God. Therefore, God. Even thy God. Yeah. Amen. Therefore, God, even thy God. In other words, even your father. Amen. Therefore, God, even thy God. Amen. In other words, son of God, even your father. That's right. How what, brother? Hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Yes, sir. You ask me, is Jesus Christ God? Yes, he's God. But I say it with understanding. Amen. He's my Lord and my God. Amen. You better give me Thomas, brother. Give me John 20, 24. I want you to stay with me and all that I get and get a good, clear understanding. Amen. Hallelujah to God. We didn't roll out the bed and come up with a revelation. This thing was written before my mother was born. Therefore, you know it was here before I got here. That's right. St. John 20 and at verse 24. What did it say, brother? But Thomas, one of the twelve. Thomas, one of the twelve. Called Didymus. He was called Didymus. Was not with them when Jesus came. He wasn't with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said unto him. Now, now look, y'all. This is after Jesus rose from the dead. That's right. After he had got out the grave, oh, Thomas, my God, he wasn't with the other disciples when Jesus had appeared unto them. And what happened, brother? We have seen the Lord. Hey, hear what they telling Thomas. We done seen the Lord. That's right. What did it say, brother? But he said unto them. What did Thomas say? Except I shall see in his hands. Wait, wait a minute, y'all. Thomas said we done seen who? We have seen the Lord. We saw who? The Lord. But he was talking about the Son of God. That's right. But he said we done seen the Lord. Amen. Look now. He's talking about the Son of God, but he said we done seen the Lord. That's right. Do you understand? Amen. Listen here. My God, he didn't see a spirit. No, sir. Do you hear me talk? Amen. He saw the Son of God and declared, we done seen the Lord. Amen. What you say, brother? But he said unto them. What he said? Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails. You see, Thomas, my God, man, he wasn't just going for anything. That's right. And that's the way, my God, man, the uh, followers of these preachers need to be today. Stop going along with anything. That's right. Do you understand? Amen. Stop going along with all these mysteries and revelations. Amen. And make the preachers read this stuff they're telling you. Amen. Make them read it, my God. What a father, my God, man. He had a dirty job to do, so he left his throne and came down. My God, man, and, and, and clothed himself in flesh and called himself a son. Make them read that. Amen. I said, make them read it now. Amen. Hallelujah to God. If they can't read it, if they can't read it, and I know they can't, then count that teaching ass, but don't. That's right. Because that's what that is, that's dog. What it is. They say he had a dirty job to do. So he left his throne. The father left his throne and came down here and called him a son. You see, what that teaching really does is kick out son. Kick him out. That's all, all you got to do, Amen. my God, is open your understanding. That Amen. teaching really is designed to say, really, there is no son. That's right. Because that's the father holding title of son. That's what the teaching does. Amen. It's a trick of the devil. That's it. I said, it's a trick of the enemy Amen. because that devil know if I can get rid of the son of God, if I can convince them that the son don't live, That's right. 
There's no salvation. No salvation. And no other. Amen. If I can convince them. Amen. My God, man, that he was, but he is no more. That's right. Then I got him with me because I know salvation is in the Son. That's the right. devil know that. Amen. He know it. But he make the followers. That's right. He make these preachers believe something that he know better. Amen. What you say, brother? But he said unto them. What did he say? Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails. Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails. And put my finger in the print of the nails. Come on, then you know I'm not going for anything. Amen. I got to put my finger in the print of the nails. Amen. You see, Thomas knew. My God, man, they saw him get pierced on the cross. That's right. They saw him down that cross, and Thomas said, I'm not believing it unless I can take my finger and put it in the print of them nails. That's right. That's how I'm going to know that's him. Amen. Y'all can't just tell me anything. That's right. What did he say, brother? And put my finger into the print of the nails. What did he say, brother? And thrust my hand into his side. Thomas said, I got to be able to thrust my hand in his side. That's right. What you say, brother? I will not believe. Thomas said, unless I do that, I'm not going to believe. That's right. What you say, brother? And after eight days, after eight days, again his disciples were within. What happened? And Thomas with them. Thomas was with them. Then came Jesus. Then came that same Jesus. Amen. That then got up out the grave. That's right. You see, he heard Thomas when he was talking. That's right. My God, man, eight days. My God, man, he come along and and hit and hit. Thomas with him this time. What happened, brother? Then came Jesus. What happened? The doors being shut. The, you know, the doors being shut. And stood in the midst. Hey, wait a minute. He ain't rang the doorbell. No, sir. He didn't have to knock on the door. No, sir. Didn't have to do it. Why? He the son of God with power. That's right. Do you hear me talking? I didn't have to knock on the door and say, well, y'all open this door. My God, they look around and hear Jesus standing right in the midst. That's right. What you say, brother? The doors being shut. What is that? And stood in the midst and he said. He stood in the midst and said. Peace be, peace unto, you. be unto you. What you say? Then said he to Thomas. What he say? Reach hither thy finger. Hey, hey, Thomas. Come on here and reach hither your finger. Amen. Hey, 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 in order to convince you it's me, my God, if you need to thrust your finger, my God, come on and reach it here. That's right. What you say, brother? And behold my hands. And, and Thomas, look, 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 look at my hands now. Amen. What you say, brother? And reach hither thy hand. And reach hither thy hand. And thrust it into my side. Thrust it in my side. And be not faithless. Wait a minute, y'all. He said, be not faithless, Thomas. But believe it. I need you to be a believer. Amen. I don't need you walking around here doubting. That's right. Hallelujah to God. I don't need you talking like they talk out there. Amen. You got to be a believer. Amen. Hallelujah to God. What did he say, brother? And Thomas answered and said unto him. What did Thomas say? My Lord. My Lord. And my God. I agree with Thomas. Amen. He's my Lord. Amen. And he's my God. Amen. But now we ain't going to stop reading right there. That's right. You see, that's the problem. The brothers down through the years, they stop reading right there. Amen. You got to keep reading. Although he's my Lord and my God. The Bible's still going to let you know he's the son of the father. That's right. Now keep reading, brother. Jesus said unto him. What did he say? Thomas. Thomas. Because thou hast seen me. Thomas, you saw me. Thou hast believed. You a believer because you see me. Amen. What did he say? Blessed are they that have not seen. Blessed are them that have not seen. And yet have believed. But yet they still believe. And many other And signs. I thank God that got us. That's right. My God, I wasn't there. That's right. Hallelujah to God. My God, I wasn't able to thrust my hand in his side. Amen. I wasn't able to do it. My yes. God, but God knows I'm a believer this day. Amen. We believe over yes, here. That's right. My God, we believe. And let me tell you, we're not ashamed that we believe. Amen. My God, I proclaim it everywhere. Amen. From the White House to the doghouse. That's right. That Jesus is the Son of God. Yes, he is. And I'm not ashamed of it. Amen. Hallelujah to God. My God, we're believers over here. Amen. My God, we talk like Paul. We're not ashamed of the gospel. Of Jesus Christ is right. the power of God unto salvation. I don't care who stepped back from us. Amen. Let me tell you something. My God, we not had preachers, my God, man, that say they loved us. My God, man, they'd do anything for us. But the moment we start preaching Jesus, Amen. the Son of God, my God, man, they start backing off from us. I'm, I'm, I'm like the disciples said, my God, man, uh, to, to Jesus, my God, to, to, to some of the other preachers, will you also go? Amen. My God, if you want to go, go right ahead. But the message is not going to change. Amen. Jesus is the Son of God. Yes, he is. I say he is the Son of God. Amen. I said it's not going to change. Amen. It doesn't matter now. My God, man, what did it say, brother? And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples. Many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence, right in the presence of his disciples. What did he say, brother? Which are not written in this book. Jesus did a whole lot of things. 
That is not written in this book. Amen. What you say, brother? But these are written. Wait a minute. You, you hear what he's saying? Amen. Jesus letting you know, my God, he did a lot of things that's not written in this book. Amen. But what we're saying right here, he said, this is written. Amen. What, what's your point, Murray? Why look for another book Amen. if you don't believe this one? That's right. He already testified that there's many other things that Jesus did that's not written in this book. Amen. But if you don't believe this book, why look for another one? Amen. You need to focus on believing this one right here. Amen. What you say, brother? But these are written. These are written. That you might believe. That you might believe. What? That Jesus is the Christ. That Jesus is the Christ. The Son of God. The who? The Son of God. The who? The Son of God. This is after Thomas calling my Lord and my God. Amen. This is after Thomas calling my Lord and my God. He's still the Son of the yes, Father. Yes, he now. is. He's my Lord. And he's my God. Amen. But he's still the Son of the Father. Hear me talking now. My God, so Brother Price, when you ask the question, is Jesus Christ God? Yes, but we say it with understanding. Amen. He's my Lord. And he's my God. But let me tell you something. My Lord and my God got a father. Amen. Do you hear me talking? That's now? right. My God, man, you see when you understand all this? My God, man, give me 1 Timothy 3.16. When you understand this, 1 Timothy 3.16, my God, man, it won't trip you up. Amen. It won't trip you up. My God, man, all that I get and get understanding. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is God. My God, man, but he's still got a father. That's right. 1 Timothy 3.16, what you say, Paul? And without controversy. There ain't no use in disputing about it. Without controversy. Great is the mystery of God. Great is the mystery of godliness. Amen. What you say, brother? God was manifest in the flesh. Wait, but God was manifest where? In the flesh. God was manifest in the flesh. Well, who came here in the flesh? Jesus did. Amen. But the Bible said God was manifest, made known in the flesh. That's right. But who came here in the flesh? The Son of God did. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. My God, man, when you understand that, you can understand Emmanuel. That's right. Which being interpreted is God with us. God with us. When Jesus was walking around here, my God, man, that was God with us. That's right. But he still got a father. That's right. What you say, brother? And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. God was manifest in the flesh. Justified in the spirit. God was justified in the spirit. Seen of angels. God was seen of angels. Preached unto the Gentiles. You mean God did what? Preached unto the Gentiles. But well, who was that here preaching? That Amen. was Jesus. Amen. But the Bible calling it God. He's our Lord and he's our God. But he's still the son of the father. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. What you say, brother? Believed on in the world. He was believed on in the world. Received up into glory. You mean our God was received up into glory? Amen. So our God, our Lord and our God was received up into glory. Amen. Well, who was that went up into glory? Amen. You better give me an ask, brother. My God, man, one in that verse eight. My God, let's see who was that went up into glory. Hallelujah to God. The first Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16 declared God was received up into glory. Amen. My God, man, Acts 1 8 said what? But ye shall receive power. When? After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. What you say, brother? And ye shall be witnesses unto me. Read it. Both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria. Read it. And unto the uttermost part of the earth. What you say, brother? And when he had spoken these things. When Jesus spoke these things. While they beheld. While they was looking at the Son of God. He was taken up. Where? And a cloud received him out of their sight. And what happened? And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up. While they was looking at the Son of God as he went up. Behold, two men stood by him in white apparel. Two angels, my God, stood by in white apparel. And what did they say, brother? Which also said. What did they say? You men of Galilee. You men of Galilee. Why stand ye gazing up into heaven? While you're standing here looking up, my God, into heaven. This same Jesus. You can park your car right there. Amen. Because the Bible said this same Jesus. Same Jesus. This same. Look here. Not my God, man. The Father came down. My God clothed himself in flesh. Went to the cross. Shed it all sonship. When he got up out the grave, he was no longer the son. No longer connected to the house of David. No longer had nothing to do with the seed of David. He rose all father. The Bible said that same Jesus. Amen. The Bible says the same Jesus. Amen. 
It's the same Jesus. It's not a different Jesus. It's the same Jesus. That's right. That what, brother? This same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven. This same Jesus that have ta was taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. But 1 Timothy 3.16 said God was received up into glory. Amen. Well, that's Jesus, the son of God right there. That's right. Do you know, that's Jesus, the son of God. Amen. Listen. Brother Price, his father called him God. That's right. He's our Lord and our God. Amen. But he's still the son of the father. Amen. Do you understand? That's right. You cannot say that the son or the father became the son. Because the Bible never said that. Amen. And if anybody say that the father became the son, you just add it to the Bible. That's right. It ain't never said that. No, My God, man, hear me talking now. Give me Romans, brother, one in that verse one. All thy getting, get a good understanding. We're going to get the rest of his questions, but I want to, my God, man, I want to cross every T and dot every I here. Hear me talking now. Romans 1 and 1 said what? Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ. Called to be an apostle. He was called to be an apostle. Separated unto the gospel of God. What did he say? Gospel of who? Gospel of God. What did he say, brother? Which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scripture. In the Holy Scripture, what did he say? Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. I want y'all to get this. Don't read over this. That's right. Concerning who? His son. Jesus Christ. Look, look at now. His son. That's right. Whose son? The father's son. A amen. Concerning his son, the father's son, Jesus Christ. But what is he to us? Our Lord. Amen. Do you get that? Concerning his son, the father's son, Jesus Christ, which is our Lord. That's right. Jesus, the son of God, that's our Lord and our God. Amen. But he's still the son of his father. Amen. Do you understand? And this is the way the apostles in that Bible told. That's right. Folks can, let, let me tell you something. Folks can get stuck in this traditional junk that has been handed down from generation to generation. But what you hear now is what the Bible, what, what was left on record out of that Bible. Amen. This is what's in the Bible. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. Look here. To say that the father became the son, you blow the whole Bible out of proportion. That's right. That's right. You blow the whole Bible out of proportion. Right. Hear me talk. Amen. Brother, give me 2 Peter. One round about verse 17. If I'm starting at verse 16. I want you to get it now. And all that I get and get a good clear understanding. 2 Peter chapter 1. And at verse 16. What you say, Peter? For we have not followed cunningly devised fables. Peter said, we didn't follow cunningly devised fables. When we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. When we made known unto you the power and coming of who? Our Lord Jesus Christ. Who Lord? Our Lord. Who Lord? Our Lord. And what's his name? Jesus Christ. And who Lord is he? Our Lord. And what's his name? Jesus Christ. And who Lord is he? Our Lord. And what's his name? Jesus Christ. He's our Lord and his name is Jesus Christ. That's right. But now let me show you where our Lord Jesus Christ got his honor and his power from. Read the book, brother. But were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Our Lord Jesus Christ, Peter said, we was eyewitnesses of his majesty. That's right. What you say, Peter? For he received from God the Father. Amen. He received from who? God the Father. So our Lord Jesus Christ received from God the Father. What did he receive from God the Father? Honor and glory. He got honor and glory from God the Father. Amen. Who got it? Our Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. He got honor and glory from God the Father. Amen. What you say, brother? When there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory. You, you, you see, Peter said, he received honor and glory from God the Father when there came such a voice to him. That's right. From the excellent glory. Amen. What you say, brother? This is my beloved son. So that's what the voice said. That's right. And he got that honor from who? God the Father. And what did the voice say? This is my beloved son. This is my beloved son? In whom I am well pleased. The Father said, I'm well pleased with my beloved son. That's right. 
I'm well pleased. I don't care how man feel about it. Amen. I'm well pleased with my beloved son. What did he say, brother? And this voice which came from heaven. Peter said, and this voice that came from heaven? We heard. That's right. We were there and we heard. Amen. We heard the voice. Amen. How do you fellas gonna come up, come along later? That's right. You wasn't there and you ain't heard the voice. Amen. You got to go by what was left on record by them that heard the voice. That's right. You wasn't there. Amen. And you ain't heard no voice. Amen. Do you understand? That's right. If you the, the voice you heard that declared the son ended at the cross, that wasn't God the Father talking to you. No, sir. I won't say you didn't hear a voice. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. But Paul left on record through and by the Holy Ghost, no man speaking by the Spirit that's right. will call Jesus a curse. The voice that's talking to you, telling you the son ended at the cross, he ceased. And brother, they start pulling scripture. Mm -hmm. My God, man, twisting scripture to try to make the scripture say what they want to believe. Amen. That's right. They get James. And said, James said, we saw the end of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah to God. <laughs> you don't understand. Amen. Yes, we saw the end of the Lord. All you got to do is go to James and back up a few verses. Amen. And just see what James is talking about. That's right. Because he talked about Job before he talked about Jesus. That's right. What was he talking about? How them men endured, my God, whatever they had to endure. That's right. They continued until the end That's it. of their natural life. When they died, the Bible said we saw the end. We saw how they ended up. We saw, my God, how they continued, how they didn't faint, how they didn't give up. That's right. That's what they're talking about. Amen. But they took it to say we saw the end of the Lord as if in he don't exist no more. That's right. The, the, the Bible said that. Did say you that. said that. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. Hear me talking that. Amen. By God, man, they get the scripture where Jesus said it's finished. Mm -hmm. It's finished. You see there? It's finished. You better thank God it was finished. That's right. You better thank God it was finished. That's right. Because my God, man, through and by him finishing it, you and I can be saved. We now. can be saved. Hallelujah Amen. to God. That's right. This don't mean, my God, that's the end of him. No, my sir. God, because remember now, the Bible said destroy this temple. That's right. Three days. Jesus declared destroy this temple. That's right. He said in three days. Amen. I said, he said in three days. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to bring it back again. Amen. Hallelujah to God. You talking about that was the end of them? He had already said in three days that's right. coming back. That's right. Hear me talking now. My God, they take scripture and twist it. That's right. To try to make it fit the junk they want to believe. Hallelujah to God. My God, man, truly this was mm -hmm. the son of God. That's right. Truly this was <laughs> the son of God. Let me tell you something. We'll go to Revelation and teach my God where he is, where he is, was, and is to come. That's right. Do you hear me, hear me talking now? Amen. My God, not only truly this was, he is, was, and is to come. Yes, he is. He's all of that. Amen. Do you hear me talking? Amen. He is, he's present right now. Amen. Was, he was back there. Amen. Is to come. The Apostle Paul said, wait for his son from, from heaven. heaven. He's is, was, and is to come. That's right. He's all of that. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. Hallelujah to God. The devil then got in them and they twist scripture to try to make it fit what they want to believe. That's right. Hear me talking. My God, but we're here to let you know now. Yes, sir. My God, man, all that stuff you need to count it but don't. That's right. Amen. Jesus is the son of God. Yes, he is. I don't care who don't believe. Amen. I said I don't care who Amen. don't believe. Amen. It don't matter to me now. Amen. It don't matter. It's written. That's right. If I turn and stop believing it, it's still written. It's still written. What if some do not believe? That's right. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? The Bible said, God forbid. Amen. Yea, let God be true. Let him be true. And every man a liar. That's right. Every man is a liar. Yes, he is. That don't honor my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Use a liar, God knows. Yes, he is. I say use a liar. Use an apostolic liar. That's right. Do you understand? Amen. What you say, brother? And this voice, this voice, which came from heaven, it came from heaven. We heard, we heard the voice when we were with him in the holy mount. Let's try to get some more of this, cause I, 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 I love this stuff right here. He goes on to say, "Is Jesus Christ the Son of God? Is He God?" 
By all means, he's our Lord and he's our God, but he's still the son of the father. That's what the scriptures teach. And if you're going to tell me, well, no, he is the father, then you're going to make Jesus a liar. You make Jesus himself a natural liar. That's right. John 7, 28, brother. Let's push a little further here. St. John 7, 28, and I want John 8, 42. And all thy getting, get a good, clear understanding. St. John 7 and that verse 28. What did he say, brother? Then cried Jesus in the temple as he taught, saying. Jesus cried in the temple as he taught the people, saying, what? Ye both know me, and ye know whence I am. Jesus said, you know me, and you know whence I am. What is that? And I am not come of myself. Jesus said, I didn't come of myself. But he that sent me is true. Wait, wait a minute now. <laughs> I didn't come of myself, but, but, but he that did what? He that sent me. So somebody sent you, Jesus. That's right. Somebody sent you, Jesus. Amen. What did he say, brother? Whom ye know not. And you don't know that one that sent me. Amen. That's what he said. That's right. What did he say, brother? But I know him. I know him. For I am from him. I'm from him. And he hath sent me. Hallelujah to God. And all thy getting, get to understand. Amen. Jesus spoke plain. He sent me. That's right. What more do we need? Amen. Is Jesus alive? No, sir. He said he sent me. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. Read that again, brother. Ye both know me. You know me. And you know whence I am. And you know whence I am. And I am not come of myself. I didn't come of myself. But he that sent me is true. He that sent me is true. Whom ye know not. And you don't know him. But I know him. I know him. For I am from him. I'm from him. And he hath sent me. Brother, that's plain. Amen. That's cut and dry. Give me John 8, 42, brother. Hear me talk. St. John 8, 42. What did it say, brother? Jesus said unto them. What did Jesus say? If God were your father. <laughs> Listen to Jesus. <laughs> That's right. Jesus said, if God was your father. You would love me. <laughs> Hear me talk. <laughs> That's right. Jesus said, if God was your father, you love me. Amen. What you say, Jesus? For I proceeded forth and came from God. I proceeded forth and came from God. I, I, no, I became God. No, sir. No, I became the Father. For I proceeded forth and came from God. No, I became the Father. I proceeded forth. I, pro I, I you proceeded forth. I came from him. Amen. What you say, brother? Neither came I of myself. And I didn't come of myself. But he sent me. What, 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 what you want, man? Amen. What, what you want? This is what the Bible said right here. That's right. Do you understand? Give me St. John 16, 27. All that I get and get a good, clear understanding. Yes, Hit me talking now. My God, man, this stuff was left on record for us, for our learning, if you're just willing to learn. Amen. St. John 16, 27 said what? For the Father himself loveth you. Jesus telling them, said, the Father loved you. Amen. Why? Because ye have loved me. Look, the Father's love toward you is based on your love toward me. That's right. Do you hear me talking? That's right. Jesus let you know your, that the Father's love toward you is based on your love toward me. Yes, it is. What you say, brother? For the Father himself loveth you because ye have loved me. Because you have loved me? And have believed. And have believed. That I came out from God. Amen. What do you want? Amen. That's good and dry. Amen. What do you say, brother? I came forth from the Father. I came forth from the Father. Amen. Look, look here, look here. If he was the Father that had been made into the Son, why don't he just say that? That's right. What had written that? Why, why don't he just say that? Amen. Would you think the Lord playing games with us? That's right. The Lord is not the author of confusion. No, he's not. Read that again. For the Father himself loveth you. The Father himself loveth you. Because ye have loved me. Because you have loved me. And have believed. And have believed. That I came out from God. That I came out from God. I came forth from the Father. I came forth from the Father. And am come into the world. And am come into the world. Amen. What you say, Jesus? Again. Again. I leave the world. I leave the world. And go to the Father. What you want? What you want? Amen. Do you understand? Amen. My God, man, whatsoever things are written. That's right. You got to go by what's written. Do you understand? 
Let me talk. He goes on to Acts. He said, is the son of God God? Is he lesser than God or equal with God? In other words, he's asking, is the son of God lesser than the father or equal to the father? Give me Philippians, brother. Chapter 2. And begin reading at verse 5. All thy getting, get a good, clear understanding. Amen. Philippians 2, 5 said what? Let this mind be in you. You want to have this same mind. That's right. Let this mind be in you. Which was also in Christ Jesus. Which was also in Christ Jesus. Who being in the form of God. He was where? Being in the form of God. He was God's form. Amen. Being in the form of God. Thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Amen. Thought it not robbery. Amen. You see, when you rob, you're taking something that don't belong to you. That's right. Do you hear me talking? The Bible declared he thought it not robbery. That's right. To be equal with God. Amen. What you're talking, Jesus, the power I got, the Father gave it to me. That's right. I didn't take it and I didn't steal it. Amen. The power I got, he gave it to me. That's right. He didn't think it robbery. Amen. To be equal with God. Amen. But let me tell you something. Although he had this power, and he didn't think it was robbery to be equal with God, but yet he didn't come that way. That's right. I want you to hear Brother Murray. Amen. Although, my God, he had the power, he didn't think it robbery to be equal with the Father, but he didn't come that way. He didn't come that way. He didn't come exalted himself. That's right. I'm equal with the Father. No, he didn't come that way. No, sir. Although he didn't think it robbed him. Amen. To be equal with him because the power that he got, the Father gave it to yes, him. Yes, he did. Do you understand? Amen. But he didn't come exalting himself. Amen. What did he do? He humbled himself Amen. and exalted his Father. That's right. That's what he did. Do you understand? Amen. He humbled himself and exalted his Father. Amen. He said, my God, the one that sent me, my God, the Father that sent me is greater than all. Yeah, that's right. That's how he talked. He didn't exalt himself. Amen. But he didn't think it robbery. Now. Amen. Because the power that he possessed, he didn't steal it. That's right. He didn't take it. Amen. My God, he got out the grave and declared, oh, power. Oh, power. And heaven and earth has been given. That's right. Given. It's been given to me. Amen. I didn't take it and I didn't steal it. I didn't rob to get it. Amen. It was given to me. Amen. What you say, brother? Who being in the form of God. Being in the form of God. Thought it not robbery to be equal with he God. He didn't think it robbery to be equal with the Father. But made himself. What? Of no reputation. He didn't exalt himself. Amen. He didn't come, my God, trying to make no reputation of himself. For himself. If you notice, my God, even when the unclean spirits were able to identify him. Thou art the son of God. We know who you are. You come into my God to torment us before time. That's right. Hold your peace. That's right. Don't go out making me known like that. Hold your peace. Amen. Do you understand? Just hold your peace. That's right. My God, man, he'll go. My God, from time to time, you read where he come along and heal somebody. He tell them, my God, in so many words, keep that to yourself. That's right. That's right. And right away, they go and start telling him. <laughs> Do you understand? He didn't have to make a reputation for himself. The folks did that. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. He tell them to keep it to themselves. They go out telling everybody Amen. about it. Amen. Do you understand? What did he say, brother? But made himself of no reputation. He didn't make himself of no reputation. What did he say? And took upon and took upon him the form of a servant. He took upon himself the form. You see, he the son of God with power. My God, the power he got, the Father gave it to him. But he didn't exalt himself. He humbled himself and took upon him the form of a servant. Amen. What did he say, brother? And was made in the likeness of men. Son of God with power, but made in the likeness of man. That's right. You know why? Because he got to go through what, that, what you and I will later go through. That's right. Do you understand? He couldn't tell us not to yield to temptation if he'd never been tempted. That's right. So he had to come in a manner that we're going through. That way he can tell us, yield not to temptation. Amen. Because he has been tempted in all points like we're now being tempted, yet without sin. That's right. What did he say, brother? And being found in fashion as a man. He was found in fashion as a man. He humbled himself. He humbled himself. And became obedient unto death. Wait a minute. You mean he humbled himself and became obedient to death? Amen. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death. That's right. 
what, what is he saying? I'm going to let death. That's right. I'm going to let death take hold of me. That's it. I'm going to let death. I'm going to allow death, my God, to take hold of me. That's it. For the sake of the people. Amen. But death ain't going to hold me now. That's right. I said, death ain't going to hold. I'm going to humble myself to die. That's right. Let me show you something. There's no way. This man could have died. No way. If this man didn't humble himself That's right. to death. That's right. No way. There's no way. Amen. Hallelujah to God. You better hold that, brother. Give me John 10, 17. I want to come back there. Hear me talking. And all thy giving, get a good understanding. St. John 10 and that verse 17 said what? Therefore doeth my father love me. My father, Jesus said, love me. Because I lay down my life. You lay it down? Amen. I lay down my life. Amen. Humble himself to death. That's right. I lay down my life. What did he say, brother? That I might take it again. You see, I got to taste death for every man. That's right. I got to taste death for him. So I'm going to lay down my life that I can take it again. That way I can have victory over death. Amen. Death couldn't hold that man. That's right. He's talking about he ended at the cross. My God, let me tell you something. If, the, if he ended at the cross, then death is still holding That's him. That's right. Do you understand? That's death right. couldn't hold that man. My God, what did the Bible say, brother? No man taketh it from me. He's talking about his life. That's right. He said, no man take my life. No man taketh it from me. What did he say, brother? But I lay it down. I lay it down. Of myself. I lay it down of myself. Amen. I lay it down of myself. Amen. Who going to limit this man? That's right. Got to humble himself to death. That's right. And folk right here talking about he ain't got no power. Amen. You ain't got to humble yourself to death. <laughs> That's right. None of you. Amen. Do you hear what I said? Amen. Ain't none of you watching, listening, or here got to humble yourself to death. Not one. No death's going to get you at God's appointed That's time. That's right. And you ain't got to humble yourself to it. Not at all. Do you understand? But this man had to humble himself to death. That's right. Humble himself to death. Amen. Hallelujah to God. What did you say, brother? No man taketh it from me. No man take it from me. But I lay it down of myself. I lay it down of myself. I have power I to lay it down. I got the power to lay it down. Amen. And what else? And I have power to take it and again. And I got power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. Let me tell you something. All this was left on record for us. That's right. If we're willing to receive what's written in the Bible. Amen. Get away from all these mysteries and revelations. Hear me talking now. So, brother, Price, to answer your question. My God, man, is he equal to, to the father, lesser than the father? Let me tell you something. The Bible spoke plain. He thought it not robbery to be equal. But at the same time, he humbled himself. That's right. He didn't walk around exalting himself. He humbled himself and exalted his father. That's right. Do you understand? Listen, listen now. The power that he possessed, it wasn't his own power that he, he, he brought about of himself. His father gave it to him. That's right. And being that his father gave it to him, he was able to say, my God, man, that he's equal with the father. That's right. Because the power that he got, his, look, it ain't a different power. That's the power his father gave him. Amen. My father gave me this. Amen. But he didn't walk around exalting himself above his father. That's right. He humbled himself. That's right. Do you understand? St. John 5 and at verse 17, brother. Watch this. And all thy giving. Get a good, clear understanding. Jesus rose from the dead and declared all power in heaven and earth been given to me. That's right. St. John 5, 17 said what? But Jesus answered them. What did he say? My father worketh hitherto and I work. They didn't like that kind of talk. Mm -mm. Jesus said, my father worketh hitherto and I work. That's right. Jesus talking to him and said, my father work and I work. Amen. What did he say, brother? Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him. You sure enough got to die now. <laughs> the Bible said the Jews sought the more to kill him. Yeah, right. Why, brother? Because he not only had broken the Sabbath. Not only had he broken the Sabbath. But said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God. They didn't like that. Amen. He thought it not robbery to be equal with God. But at the same time, he humbled himself. He didn't exalt himself. That's right. What you say, brother? 
Then answered Jesus and said unto them. What did Jesus say to them? Verily, verily, I say unto you. Truly, truly, I say unto you. The son can do nothing of himself but what he seeth the father do. What are you letting you know? Amen. The father is with me. That's right. I'm doing the works of my father. Amen. Do you understand? They didn't want to accept here that he was the son of God, just like the world today don't want to accept he's the son of God. That's right. Do you understand? What you say, brother? For what thing soever he doeth, whatever the father doeth, these also doeth the son likewise. Likewise? Likewise. So just like the father do, the son do. That's right. Same thing. Amen. What you say, brother? For the father loveth the son. He do? Amen. I wonder what about the human family? Amen. The father loveth the son. And showeth him all things that himself doeth. And showeth the son all things that himself doeth. And he will show him greater works than these that ye may marvel. And will show him greater works than these that you may marvel. Amen. That you may marvel. What did he say, brother? For as the father raiseth up the dead. As the father. Amen. Raiseth up the dead. And quickeneth them. And quickeneth them, resurrect, bring them back. Amen. What's it say? Even so the son quickeneth whom he will. L listen now, listen now. Who can dispute all of this? Nobody. Do y'all see the fight that Jesus is having? It's the same fight that we're having today. Amen. They did not want to accept who he was and who he is. Amen. It's the same spirit. Amen. What you say, brother? For the father judgeth no man. He don't. Amen. The father judgeth no man. Amen. Where judgment at? But hath committed all judgment unto the son. Really? Amen. So the son got all judgment. That's right. So what you saying, Elder Terry? <laughs> Is that <clears throat> all these folks, preachers, that are denying the existence of the Son of God, saying that he don't live, he ain't got no power, he couldn't walk on the water, he couldn't raise Lazarus from the dead, he was no more than a puppet. Mm -hmm. You mean they're going to have to stand before him? Stand before him. And be judged. That's right. Now think about that. Amen. Because the Father judgeth no, no man, amen. but have committed all judgment unto the Son. Unto the Son. That's right. So the ones that's running down the Son, that's who you're going to stand before. That's right. Do you hear me talk? Amen. I said, that's who you're going to stand before. Amen. That's the word of God. That's man. right. You here, here you done denied him. He don't exist. He died at the cross. Heh, heh. Hey. All right. You're going to have a chance to stand and right, right there and look at him and tell him, you don't exist. Hey, 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 hey. That's right. And that's when you're going to hear, neither do you. Amen. Depart it's from that, you that work iniquity. That's right. That's right. Do you understand? You're going to stand before the one that you're denying Amen. because he's going to judge you at the end. That's right. Do you hear me talk? Amen. I said he gonna judge you. Amen. The Bible said he's committed all judgment to who? Unto the son. I want you to hold that, brother. I want to come back and wrap that up. But give me an Acts, my God, 10, I believe it is. Round about verse 37. I want to drive into the house. Acts 10, 37. All thy getting, get a good, clear understanding. Acts 10 37 said what? That word I say ye know. What? Which was published throughout all Judea. What? And began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached. What you say brother? How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. God anointed who? Jesus of Nazareth. So the father anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. With what? With the Holy Ghost. And? And with power. What you say brother? Who went about doing good. Jesus of Nazareth went about doing good. And healing all that were oppressed of the devil. What you say brother? For God was with him. God was with Jesus of Nazareth. And we are witnesses of all things which he did. The Bible said we are witnesses of all the things that Jesus of Nazareth did. And I love how it say Jesus of Nazareth because that lets you know that's the one that came from 
of Nazareth, and that is the Son of God. That's right. What did it say, brother? And we are witnesses of all things which he did both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem. What happened, brother? Whom they slew. Whom they slew. And hanged on a tree. And they hung him on a tree. Him God raised up the third day. Him? Amen. Him God raised up. Amen. Him the Father raised up the third day. And what did he say? And showed him openly. And showed him openly. Not to all the people. What you say, brother? But unto witnesses. What? Chosen before of God. What? Even to us. That what? Who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. So they ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. Amen. I wonder if they eat and drank with a dead man. No, sir. They ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. That's right. What you say, brother? And he commanded us. No, he said, if y'all feel like it. He commanded us. Every now and then, if it, if it come to your mind. He commanded us. He gave a commandment. To, What's the commandment? To preach unto the people. And to preach unto the people. And to testify. And testify to the that people. That it is he. That it is he. Which was ordained of God. Which was ordained of God. Amen. You mean... It is he that God ordained. That's right. To do what, brother? To be the judge of quick and dead. That's right. It is he that God ordained to be the judge of the quick, meaning the living and the dead. Amen. This Jesus is going to judge you. The son of God going to judge you and you walk around talking about he don't live. Amen. He ain't that. One fellow man on the, on, on the internet called himself, fight me. My God, man, got so foolish and said he could whip the son of God. <laughs> he said he could whip him. He could take him. Said he could take him. You know, there's an old saying in the earth, the Lord have mercy on two. <laughs> he said fools and babies. Amen. Well, the one thing I know, he ain't no, no baby. baby. That one who said that, he definitely ain't a baby. Amen. Now you figure out the rest. <laughs> Do you understand? He Amen. definitely ain't no baby. Amen. But said he could whip the son of God. Foolishness. Amen. Do you understand? Hallelujah to God. What you say, brother? To him give all the prophets witness. My God, man, this Jesus, this son of God is the one that's going to judge you at the end. Amen. Give me Acts 1730, brother. We, I see closure here. My God, I want to drive it to the house. You speaking against the one that's going to judge you. Hear me talking now. My God, man, all thy getting. Get a good, clear understanding. Acts 17 and 30 said what? And the times of this ignorance. What? God winked at. God winked at. But now. But now. Commanded all men everywhere. To do what? To repent. To repent. Because he had appointed a day. God got a day upon it. Amen. That what? In be which he will judge the world in righteousness. Wait a minute. God got a day pointed that he going to do what? Judge the world in righteousness. Somebody said, I thought the son of God going to judge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. All I do is keep reading. Amen. God got a day appointed that he going to judge the world in righteousness. How God going to judge? By that man. And that man go again. Amen. He going to judge the world in righteousness by that, that man. man. Amen. What man? Whom he hath ordained. What did Acts 10 say? God ordained him Amen. to be the judge of the quick, quick and the dead. The Bible said he got a day appointed and in which he going to judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he had ordained. Amen. What you say, brother? Whereof he had given assurance unto all men. He gave assurance to everybody. In How? That, Amen. How? In that he had raised him from the dead. Ain't that so? They say he's still dead. Amen. But the Bible said God gave full assurance and that he had raised him from the dead. That's right. Hey, 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 God had raised a man from the dead and you got to stand before that man. My God, and that man going to judge. Amen. Ain't that wonderful? Amen. Hallelujah to God. That's a beautiful thing. My God, man, let me tell you something. I thank God when I stand before him, my God, man, I don't have to hear him say that I denied him. Yeah, that's, right. that's right. He said, if you deny me before men, I will deny you before my father, which art in heaven. Do you hear me talk? I want the devil to know where we stand. We stand with Jesus over here in this corner. Amen. Do you understand? I said we stand with Jesus. I said we stand with Jesus. Amen. And let me tell you something. We ain't hoping we win. We done already won. Bible declared we're more than conquerors. Amen. Through Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah to God. He already got the victory. My God, when he got out the grave, he had victory. Amen. He had conquered death when he got up. Hear me talking now. All that, go back to John 5, brother. Let's close this thing out so we can get out of here. Word of God is right, God knows. 
I love this stuff. Brother Price, you asked some good questions here. Amen. What did he say, Brother St. John chapter 5? My God, pick up where you left off at. What did he say? 22nd verse, for the Father judgeth no man. Father judgeth no man. But hath committed all judgment unto the Son. He committed all judgment to the Son. That all men. That all men. Should honor the Son. Should honor who? Honor the Son. Honor who? Honor the Son. How? Even as they honor the Father. What's the problem? What's the problem? Amen. What's the problem, y'all? Amen. You know what the problem is? You know what in hell with preachers? Look, they watching and listening, just like many others are. Pride not settle in with them, though. Pride is a downfall of man. Amen. When man gets so proud and feel like, you know, can't nobody correct me. You know, one preacher said that. Is that correct? He, he said, no, he, preacher got up and preached. I was sitting right there. He talked about the only ones that was over him. He's talking about the pre in, in this earth with the president of the United States. <laughs> he named some of these big time fellas. <laughs> but he was saying like, you know, no other preacher could correct him. Is that what he said, bro? He said he the apostle. And he said, can't nobody correct the apostle but God. He said, nobody but God. In other words, ain't a man in earth can talk to him. And let me tell you something. You could tell. There ain't no man talking to him, neither God. <laughs> you can tell. You can tell. Look here. Ain't nobody talking to him. <laughs> Do you, look here. <laughs> nobody talking to him at all. But this is how pride to do a man. Amen. Man gets so lifted up, man. And let me tell you something. After a while, it be just like this here, like a rug. He's standing on a rug. After a while, God gonna let him go, but so, but but for so so far, that's right. God gonna let him get on up there. He get that Nebuchadnezzar syndrome. I look what I have done. I done more than all these people. Look look what I have done. Mm -hmm. After a while, God gonna let him stand up for a while, and God gonna get that rug. <laughs> he gonna be laying down there and say, Ah, look what I have done. Ah, you done made a fool of yourself. Amen. That's what I have done. Amen. Do you understand? If you had any knowledge of God at all, you'll be exalting his son, Jesus Christ. That's right. That's who you'll be exalting, not yourself. Amen. Do you understand? God got a day set where all these arrogant, high-minded, full of pride fellas, he going to snatch the rug out from under them. Amen. It's just a matter of time. Amen. Do you understand? God's people, my God, man, going to be delivered from them, God knows. Amen. That's right. It's just a matter of time, brother. I say it's a matter of time. I don't care what that enemy said. Wrap it up, brother. We got to get out of here. What did he say? For the father judges no man. Father judges no man. But have committed all judgment unto the son. That what? That all men should honor the son. How? Even as they honor the father. And what's, what's the results? He that honoreth not the son. He that won't honor God's son. Honoreth not the father which hath sent him. You ain't honor. If you won't honor the son, you have not honored the father. That sent the song. This is written for our learning. Do you understand? So Brother Price. And our closure here. He goes on to say. Is he lesser than God. Equal with God. Now. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. When God was putting the chain of command in. Although the scripture said a son of God. Counted it not robbery to be equal with God. The Bible lets you know, according to the scripture, you had God, you had Christ, you had man and the woman. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? That, that's, that's all of that. That's right. Do you understand? Amen. Now, folks will go there, but they won't teach that. They'll go there and try to overlook the Son of God. Mm -hmm. But it, 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 it preachers, when you're trying to teach head covering, before you get to that, just, just, just <laughs> acknowledge the Son of God in that scripture. Because right. Paul is acknowledging him. Yes, he is. You better run there real fast, brother. <laughs> Amen. First Corinthians chapter 11. Let me, I'm still dealing with Brother Price here, but I just want to show you God's order here. Amen. How God got this thing set up because at the end, the son is going to deliver the kingdom back up to the father. Amen. That's at the end. That's right. But now right now, the father, my God, having all power, he got the son of God in charge of everything. 
I said, the son of God is in charge of everything right now. Amen. Do you understand? That's why in Hebrews chapter 1, the father said, I want all the angels to worship my son. That's right. He's in charge of everything right now. And at the end, the father, according to the scripture, the son would deliver the kingdom back up to the father that God may be all in all. Amen. All that get and get a good understanding. First Corinthians 11 and at verse 3. What did the book say, brother? But I would have you know. That what? That the head of every man. The head of every man. Is Christ. Is who? Is Christ. Christ talking about the son of God. Bible said, well, why does it say Christ? Because Christ, the son of God, that is Christ. Amen. That's the father's anointed one right there. That's it. Luke 2, 11, the Bible said it is born unto you in this day in the city of David, a savior, which is Christ, Christ. the Lord. That's right. That's Christ right there. He's talking about the son of God. The head of every man is Christ. And what else? And and the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ. And the head of the Son of God is God. Is the Father. Amen. That's all the brother. Amen. That's all. That's God's order right there. Amen. Do you understand? You got the Father, you got the Son, you got man, and you got the woman. That's right. That's God's order. Read yeah. that again, brother. But I would have you know that what that the head of every man is who is, is who? Christ is Christ and the head of the woman and the head of the woman is the man and and the head of Christ and the head of Christ the head of the Son of God is God is the Father. That's Bible order. But yet at the same time, because the power that He possessed, He thought it not wrong. That's right. I didn't take it. I didn't steal it. Amen. I, it was given to me. Do you understand? And then the father being divine, having all power, he put authority. He put salvation right in that song. Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank God for understanding. Amen. Do you understand? That's right. Thank God, saints. That's enough, brother. Thank God. For God's divine word. All thy get. Get a good, clear understanding. You brothers and sisters up north, we look forward to again being with you all. March 26 and 27 in Fredericksburg, Virginia. We certainly look forward to your Brother Price. Don't know again what area you're from, but I appreciate your email. We pray, God, that your questions have been answered. If not, shoot me some more. But let me tell you something. I sincerely thank God for you acknowledging the fact that you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Seated, seated at the right hand of the Father this day. Let me tell you something. You're on the right foundation right there. Do you understand? That's a solid foundation right there. So we sincerely thank God for you, your email. Appreciate all of you that are here. Thank God for his divine word. You that are watching and listening, until next Sunday, peace be unto you.